again in my video. Boom! Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land! Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer! We know all things. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. You know it's called Boring Land. Nick here. Chris. He loves Boring Land. And I love today, it so much. <laughs> in Boring Land, we are go you know, I just noticed random that there's these black lines right here. It must be the way you put your phone. Anyways, <laughs> here in Boring Land, we are going to be reacting to a trailer that is called Made in China. And this is, don't be confused, this is still an Indian film by Matic Films, but we stars the man Rajkumar Rao, who has been in so many awesome movies that I have been privy privileged enough to see. And this guy, he's kind of like, you know, a regular looking guy. He's regular size, regular stature, whatever, but this guy can act. So he becomes a giant on the screen and made in China. I know nothing about, um, which is good. This is a request. You can get their name, but thank you so much for requesting this. Thank you so much for thank watching you. Boring Reviews. Before we get in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. You know, throw some love to your friends, all that kind of stuff. Chris, say hello to the peeps. Hey, how are you? And good? The Fantastic. No? The peeplets. <laughs> no? The heck is a peeplet? I don't know. They say like a dude or dudette, right? You're stupid. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let me know when you're ready, kind sir. Okay. Not really that confident. I'm ready. ready. All right. Three, two, one. You will become a big entrepreneur. You will only understand the concept of Chabi. Who is the customer? The is the king. There you go. Customer Chutia. Yes. <laughs> Customer yes. ki need yes. tala hai. Or jis din to me is tale ki chabi milgay. Umbangay entrepreneur. Yeah. There's some truth right there, right? Apne apko entrepreneur sabi tayo. Ekor mo ka kiss matne muje diya. Are those square melons? <laughs> that was weird, right? Like the little bags. It like watermelon. Quinny. हम जब रात को करते हैं तो पूरी तरह से खुश हो जाती है ना इतने ऐसे टॉप फ्लोर पे पहुंच जाती है डोंट वरी मैं टॉप फ्लोर तक भी पहुंचती हूं और वहां से व्यू भी एंजॉय करती हूं मतलब लिफ्ट बरो पर काम कर रही है लिफ्ट और लिफ्ट मैन दोनों के ओढ़नी चाइना से इतना डर मत लो कोई अफगानिस्तान या सीरिया नहीं भेज रहा चाइना ही भेज रहा व्हाट इंडियन पीपल वांट गुड रोड टाइगर पीस सुपर ओढ़नी ओढ़ो आपने मेरे साथ बिजनेस में पार्टनरशिप कर लो मेरे पास ऐसा प्रोडक्ट है ना जो सब गुप्त रोह का इलाज है प्रोडक्ट मेरा पेशेंट आपके मुनाफा दोनों का सूप तेरी कहानी है वर्दी तेरा हीरो कहानी को नहीं हीरो को बेच वो जो मेरा है ना छोटा भाई उसे बाहुबली बनना है डॉक्टर इसका कोई सलूशन है <laughs> ये सूप पिला दो ये लगाने का है कि खाने का पहला खाने का फिर <laughs> तुम रॉकेट हो तुम्हारे पीछे आ गए पुट योर हैंड ऑन ऑन बिहाइंड एंड फील द हीट अभी ऑफ कोर्स कम ऑन यस थोड़ा गरम है सर वेल सो मेनी जोक्स आई कैन से दैट वाज प्रीटी गुड दैट वाज रियली गुड या सो दैट मेन गाय देयर दैट्स राज कुमार राव दैट गाय इज द मैन आई I have not seen a movie yet where I did not like the guy in the movie. He's so likable. Um, maybe the closest to not being over the moon about this guy was in Newton, but that was just because it was a slower movie. But he still was able to have the charisma to be a likable character. What did you think about Made in China, the trailer? 
It looked like a lot of fun. It looked like a good comedy movie. Uh, definitely on the more raunchy side, but uh, I'm not against that at all. So, I mean, one of my favorite movies is Dumb and Dumber, and that's, I'm sure, far more dirtier than this movie. Oh, Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie, though. And, uh, I'm yeah, I'm excited to see. Did it say when it was released? I missed that, I think. Yeah, it came out um, Diwali time last year, 2019. So this isn't very old at all. Okay, cool. The trailer was released itself. Uh, I can't find that. But nonetheless, not too long ago at all. Indeed. So with this movie, like you said, it's it, you said you use the word raunchy. I would say maybe a little more mature. <laughs> Sophisticated way of saying it. But well, Maybe that's a better way of putting it, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's got some more mature context. We're talking about Viagra and that kind of world or whatever. You know, we, we don't have really any child viewers, which is, which is great. Even though we're teachers, maybe some of our students will stumble on and see, hey, what's, you know, what's uh, Born Reviews doing today? But even still, unfortunately, we live in a world today, at least here in the States, where you listen to the radio, you watch TV, you're going to get a Viagra-like um, product commercial at least every five commercials. I mean, it's, it's at least, especially on the radio. I'm driving. I like to listen to um, FN radio, which has the music and then the commercials, what's whatever, at least every three commercials is about, you know, dysfunctional nonsense. And so <laughs> fortunately it's like we a lot of today. <laughs> the, uh, the man in the elevator is not working at the moment. <laughs> uh, what those commercials are about the um no I, I i definitely want to see it i mean there's parts of it that seemed a bit like it kind of like gets to a serious point and then it goes right back into silly yeah. um but i don't know we'll see what happens yeah but i mean i know what you're saying because there are some movies you know from that hollywood makes where they try to be serious and then they try to be overly silly and it's like okay pick pick a lane pick a tone but I kind of liked how this one, at least in the trailer, it's a trailer. You know, what, what are you going to get from it? It's trailers like are supposed kinda, to be the best face in the movie. It stayed so, yeah. in that more um, comical realm to where it wasn't taking itself too seriously. I mean, even when he's in China and you see that the, the Chinese guy talking to him and getting his face and saying, what do Indians want? I mean, that was definitely like a, a satire on you know what maybe some people might think of people from that region if they're all about money or whatever. Obviously, the Chinese people aren't going to be really acting that way. Um, I think one of the an example like that is in Transformers Three, where you have um, what's his name, Ken actor, where he gets right in Shia LaBeouf's face, like when he works at that office, right? And he's oh yeah, bathroom, yeah, like way over the top. But no, you know, the guy's funny. He reminded me as well of the uh, of his role in. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you you uh, you pretty much thought of the same actor I did. And uh, when he's in the hangover, he has the exact, that Chinese guy's reminding me exactly of him. That's something that uh, he would definitely say. Yeah, no, I think that guy definitely was tapping into some of that energy there. He's also, the actor is also awesome in so many other things. He's in Community, which my wife likes to watch, but he's also in a show which has no business being entertaining, but it's so entertaining called The Masked Singer. Have you seen that before? Oh yeah, I have seen it, yeah. And what do you mean? There's no business. It's it's people it's, usually do a pretty good job singing. What's I we have so not... much oversaturation on these reality singing shows. Like I'm just so over it. I used to like American Idol about ten years ago. I'm just so over. I, I liked X Factor a lot actually. I'm so over these things. But Max Mask Singer has like these B list, C list type singers or these performers that come on, and it's just so entertaining trying to guess and trying to figure out who is behind the mask. And then you have Ken and you have so many other guys in the judge panel that make it more entertaining as well. Anyways, we've kind of got way off track. Let's bring it back to it's a smidge. To Made in China. Just it, a little bit. This definitely looks very entertaining. It said it was from the makers of Street, which um, Raj Kumar Rao's in. That's actually a horror-esque comedy film. You should check it out. You'd really like that. Um, he's. It also came from people from Hindi uh, Medium, I think it said. And so a lot of different movies that people love. These people are making this movie. I couldn't tell who the guy was that was talking to in the bar. I'm not sure if that was like a Pankaj Tripathi or another famous Indian actor or just some random character actor. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below 
if that was someone that I should have recognized. They looked a little, you know, disguised with the sunglasses and kind of like the stubble beard like I have right now. But this movie looked awesome. Came out last year. Most of our viewers probably know about it. Let us know if it's worth watching. Don't give any spoilers away, please. But let us know if we should check it out. Let us know if Chris, when he's not working and he's not doing the other things that he's doing, if he should turn it on and check it out and if we should do a review together, um, the two of us on this film. Let us know if there's enough demand, then we will make it happen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out some other videos that Chris is on. Where, he's over, where is he at? He's like, there he is. No, right there. Holy cow. This is so hard. No, it is. Check difficult. out, check out some videos that he's in. He always brings a nice little uh, or a nice amount of his style. Yes, that's a cool guy. Yeah. And uh, he wishes. We enjoy his opinions, what I'm trying to say. Sure you do. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> But with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe, like I keep saying. And until next time. Take care.